What's up everybody, Justin Hayes here from superhumanpursuits.com. Today, I want to go over the top three reasons you shouldn't run and the number one reason why you should. First one on the list here is you aren't ready. Your body's not ready to run. I don't know this for sure. It's a highly individual thing, but it's something to think about. When you're running, all you're essentially doing is propelling yourself off one leg and then landing on the other, right? This is, at its essence, a single leg plyometric activity. A, a very complicated movement. And if you're not moving properly from a, like, from a foundational level, from your core down, then this is, this is problematic. And let me explain. So if you have mobility problems in your ankle, right? If you have stability problems in your knee that caves in or caves out when you're running, if you have improper hip mobility, where you carry your hip line when you run, do your glutes fire properly? Is your core stabilized? All these things need to be in order before you run. Because you're going to repeat that pattern over and over and over, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, right? And you're grooving that pattern, a pattern that could be completely full of dysfunction. And, and what that's going to do is keep grooving that pattern over and over and over, and it's not proper, you're opening yourself up to injury. That's the most important part here. Most important not reason not to run. Number two, fat loss, not fast. A lot of people say to me, I say, why do you why do you run? Why do you run for distance? I run because I want to lose weight. I can promise you I'm not an expert in anaerobic aerobic activities, but running to lose weight is not the best way to lose weight. So if your goal is to lose weight, there's much better ways to go about this. Number three, your goal isn't endurance kind of ties in with a number two here. If your goal isn't to endure, as, as your personal goal isn't to have endurance, then, then running, there's probably better activities you could choose. And I explain it like this. As a human being, our day-to-day -day lives are not rooted in endurance. We don't do a lot of endurance-based activities. We do things in short spurts. Right? We function in a, I need to lift something, I need to lift something overhead, I need to run real fast for a split second here. That is the most functional means for us on a day-to-day -day basis. You should train in those means unless you have a goal that is endurance-based. Hope that kind of makes sense. Uh, <laughs> I think it should. The number one reason you should run, you're passionate about it. That, that's, that's the most important one. If if you're passionate about running and you love the way it makes you feel, some people are genuinely attached to it. Good, good. You should still do it. It still has a, a ton of benefits that, you know, still has a ton of great benefits despite what I just said. But regardless of if you're passionate about it, do not do it at the sake of number one. Meaning, if you're not moving properly from the areas I discussed before, you shouldn't be running. And that's all I have for today. Hope to hear feedback from you guys. Let me know below this video on the site or on YouTube. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.